estate investor partner with Zero Accounting to provide our members with real-time portfolio tracking. Let's log in and learn a little bit more about Zero Accounting. Once logged in, click on the Zero logo on the home screen. This will take you through to our Get Started with Zero page. If you're already a subscriber of Zero, click through to go directly to their portal. If you're not, scroll down to learn a little bit more about why we're partnering with Xero and what the benefits might be to you and your portfolio. Down the screen, you're going to find this form. Real Estate Investor provide all of our members with their first ownership entity within Xero at no cost. It's called an organisation, and if you only have one ownership entity for all of your investment properties, that's all you need to get started with Xero. If you have additional entity requirements, you can purchase additional entities for a nominal cost on a monthly basis. This can be added to your membership. Scroll down the screen to learn a little bit more about the T's and C's related to this offer. We already have an organisation set up within Xero, so let's click through and learn more about it. Now, this organisation has been set up by Real Estate Investor for one of our members, so let's have a look at what's entailed. First of all, the name of the organisation is at the top, so this entity is Trust Number One. If we scroll down, Trust Number One has two accounts. It has a credit card account and a transaction account related to this ownership entity. It also has two investment properties. By going up to Settings, General Settings, and then Tracking, we're able to see that there's a tracking category name called Property, and there's two properties related to that tracking code, 10 Harkaway and 7 Clark Court. So we have two properties owned by this ownership entity that are tracked across our portfolio. Coming back to the dashboard, we're able to see that we also have something called an account watch list. Accounts within Xero are what you categorize your income and expenses under. If I scroll back to the top to settings, I'm able to see our chart of accounts. Everyone has a chart of accounts within Xero. Real Estate Investor can provide one to you, or if you're already a Xero subscriber, you'll have your own. Things like rent received, interest income, bank fees, body corporate fees, anything that might be an incoming or outgoing expense will be held within your chart of accounts. Also within your chart of accounts will be your bank account. So you can see here we have trust number one transaction account and trust number one credit card and also the properties themselves. So we have here 10 Harkaway Road purchase price and 7 Clark Court purchase price as well. The chart of accounts really is the brains behind the accounting platform. If I scroll back to our dashboard, I'm going to show you how we can record transactions within Xero. So we have our credit card set up and we have a transaction account set up. If we want to, we can turn on our direct bank feeds with our financial institution. Different banks have different ways of turning on the bank feeds. Some are direct online and some of them require you to print out and sign a form and send it into the bank. By clicking the Get Bank Feeds, Xero will look at what the account is that you've got and recommend to you the best process to get the bank feeds turned on. Of course, you have other options. By clicking on the Manage Account button, you can also import a statement. So if you don't want to turn on your bank feeds live but want to perhaps import an Excel spreadsheet or manually import uh, an account statement, you can do that too. If we have a look under the new, we can see spend money, receive money and transfer money. And this is the basics of recording transactions within Xero. So if we have an expense, we'll spend money and if we receive income, we'll receive money. By clicking on spend money, we're taken to the spend money screen. We've got the ability to put in place what we spent the money on, in this case let's say at Bunnings and we spent it on the 19th of November, put in place a reference code, and you can record in place the item, a description, the quantity, the unit price, and an account. So in this case, we'll say it's Bunnings, and we'll put it down as repair and maintenance. You can then use those tracking codes to allocate which property the expense related to. In this case, we'll say it's to do with 7 Clark Court. When you're ready, click Save and that transaction will be recorded against your account. 
As you can see, that transaction's appeared and it's unreconciled. Reconciliation is very important in Xero, whether you're manually putting in an account transaction or whether you're connected live to your bank account and have feeds coming in. Xero will require you to go through and reconcile your accounts each time a transaction appears. You can do it on a daily, weekly, monthly or annual basis, but for the balances to be true and correct, you do need to go through and reconcile the accounts. Reconciliation is very fast. You can do it on your mobile device or your computer and you simply choose a transaction, allocate an account, be it whatever the expense or income is, and allocate it to the relevant property to which it's related. Click OK and the account or transaction will be reconciled. Coming back to our dashboard, we can scroll down. We can see here in our transaction account, we can see our balance over time. And we can also see for our credit card how that's going as well. So that's currently negative whereas the transaction account is currently in positive territory. If I go back to the top, let's have a look at some of the reports available within Xero. If I click on reports, I'm able to go to our profit and loss report. By default, it's going to show us the current and previous three months profit and loss line items. Scrolling down, this is for our entire trust, trust number one, and it's showing us that we've received this much rent in November, being $6,500, and our operating expenses or costs have been $2,128. So we currently have a net profit of 4372 This information, when kept up to date, is all you need to get your tax return completed at tax time. Within Xero, you're able to upload all your receipts and documents and record them within the platform. So you're able to give your accountants direct access to this software to be able to complete your tax return on the 1st of July. We're also able to compare properties. By clicking on any of the items across the top, we're able to change the view. In this case, we're now comparing our two properties, 10 Harkaway and 7 Clark Court. You can see here that 10 Harkaway Road operates at a net profit of $391 in November, whereas Clark Court was a just under $4,000 net profit. We also have reports that give us our balance sheet, being our assets and liabilities, and we have a number of other capabilities within the report section. This has been a look at the Xero accounting platform. Have a look at our other videos which show you how to integrate Xero with Real Estate Investors Portfolio Tracker.